The distinguished author and journalist, Philip Knightley, wrote a book which was a bestseller, The First Casualty. The theme of the book, that the first casualty of war was truth. Well, at the Australian Institute for International Affairs in Sydney recently, we welcomed Peter Cave, a distinguished war correspondent and the foreign affairs editor of the ABC. And I asked him whether in fact uh, that was true and whether there was a great difficulty in trying to get at the truth as a war correspondent. Well, clearly war is a very dangerous places and uh, places that are very dangerous uh, sort of restrict your movement, so you can't be everywhere. Uh, you've basically got a choice of, of embedding with one side or the other or doing it independently. If you do it independently that has its own dangers but uh, it also has a, uh, a limitation on your access uh, to see what's going on. Um, so the choices are embedding with one side or the other side. Um, it's, it's very hard as one person to get a full story. That's why uh, when we cover a war, we try to, uh, to do it from, from different angles. We try to have someone embedded, someone independent, uh, someone reporting from the other side. Peter, what about the emotions of a frontline correspondent? During a war, you see some really terrible things, and some BBC correspondents I know have been quite shocked by that and say that they can't hide their emotions in their reporting. It's very hard when you're covering something like the conflict in the former Yugoslavia, uh, where there are, there are two distinct sides, there are atrocities being carried out by both sides. Uh, you tend to have a view from the side that you're on and, uh, and yes, you know, seeing, uh, seeing atrocities, seeing men, women and children killed uh, can, be, can be very disconcerting. I think the, the antidote to that is to just report what you see and make it perfectly clear that you are just reporting what you see and what you can say, not what you're surmising. Is a television correspondent at a disadvantage compared with perhaps a newspaper reporter who has more time to write an article and can go in greater depth? It's a different process reporting for, for radio and television. As you say, you, 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 know, you do have to be there. There is an element of, of writing, obviously, and there are other factors that, that go into your story apart from what you shoot yourself. Obviously you have access to, uh, to, to newswires like Reuters, APTN and, and those sort of uh, people who are covering the parts of the, the conflict you can't get to, but uh, in day-to-day uh, -day television reporting, uh, for example, if you're doing a story for the 7 o'clock news and the ABC, you've got possibly a minute and a half, possibly two minutes to, to tell a very complex story. It's hard. Uh, in radio, you've got more time, um, obviously not in a radio news piece which is 40 seconds, but on a program like uh, AM, PM, The World Today, you know, you've got up to 10 minutes. Uh, on a program uh, you know, like uh, 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 the weekend programs, like Correspondence Report, uh, um, if you're working for a long-form television program, uh, for example, uh, if you're working for Foreign Correspondent, you used to have 45 minutes, now you have half an hour. Uh, if you're working for, the, for Four Corners, you've got 45 minutes, so you can do a, a fairly comprehensive job for a long, long-form television program. Peter, thank you very much. Peter Cave there, who is the Foreign Affairs Editor of the ABC.